What's happening guys, I'm Cooper Carter and today we are checking out the brand new Heat Treated or HT series pickups from Ernie Ball Music Man. Back in 2020, I first demoed this guitar, the Ernie Ball Music Man Sabre, one of my all-time favorites from their lineup, and it's an absolutely phenomenal instrument. If you guys are interested in seeing that demo in full and hearing more about this guitar, make sure to check out that video linked in the description of this one. But today, we're actually here to check out what's inside of this Sabre, the new HT or Heat Treated series of pickups. Now, currently, these pickups are in three different guitars in the Music Man lineup, the Sabre, which I have here, the Stingray, and then the Cutlass in a single coil format. Now the story behind these pickups is pretty cool because the idea to heat treat the pole pieces of a pickup really emerged from some of the research into metallurgy that Ernie Ball undertook when developing the M-Steel and Cobalt series strings. So the engineers at Ernie Ball took some of the lessons and techniques that they had gleaned from decades of trailblazing in the string space and applied them to pickup design. And they've basically created a pickup that I could just as easily call HD as HT because in other words, the result of the heat treating process, at least to my ears, is that it sounds and it feels like these pickups take the frequency and response range of a standard pickup and do this to it. What you have here is ultra modern, ultra high gain output pickups with all of the punch and the rich harmonic overtones and sustain that you'd expect from that. But what you also get is touch sensitivity, clarity and definition, things that I pretty much never think of when I think about really high output pickups. They always tend to be a little compressed to my ear versus the more open vintage or medium output style models. Now, even more surprising and so pleasing is that unlike any other high gain pickup that I've played, when you bring the volume knob down on the HT, you get beautiful tonally balanced cleans that are warm and they're full. There's none of the kind of sterility or the papery kind of raspiness that I usually expect from a pickup with this high of an output. In other words, Ernie Ball's new process has somehow combined all of the best parts of vintage and modern pickups and left out the shortcomings of both. These are loud and aggressive when you want them to be, but they're also clear and strong and warm when you run them low. So what I'm going to do is play the same riff now on all five positions of the pickup selector. And I'm also going to play each pickup with the volume knob halfway down. And then I'll play each one with the volume knob all the way up with the 20 dB push push boost here activated that's hiding underneath the volume pot. This boost is a killer feature that gives you instant access to a lot of transparent gain. And it works equally well to kind of goose up an already overdriven tone as it does to warm up a clean tone. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think it bears repeating that what Ernie Ball has done here is deliver a pickup that brings together the best of modern advances in pickup design while retaining all of the things that we love and crave from vintage style pickups. I am so enjoying playing through these and I cannot wait to check out the single coil version. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave me a comment below letting me know what you'd like to see demoed in a future video and let me know what you think of these new HT pickups, especially if you've been able to try them out for yourself. In anticipation of some of your questions and comments, as always, all of the guitar tones in this video are coming from my trusty Fractal Audio Axe FX3. I'm playing this guitar with a set of RPS slinkies. I've got an Ernie Ball cable, and I use an Ernie Ball Prodigy pick. So check out the new HT line from Ernie Ball Music Man. Thank you all for joining, and until next time, take care. In other words, the result of the heat treating process is that to me, it sounds and it feels like these pickups take the frequency and response range, response range, that's a real thing.